Welcome everybody back to Spinner Rack. The crew is here. <laughs> I got Petey and Cal. All right. And today we're going to be talking about that so Elsewhere cool. crossover from <laughs> the Elsewhere crossover from CW. Hey, this is one of the hottest properties they have. Every year they do a crossover of their top talent, and once again they've done a bang out job with with Arrow, Supergirl, Girl. and Flash. But so, where was Black Lightning? Hey, he'll be in the next, next No. Year. <laughs> I've been waiting to say this. He exists in a separate but equal universe. <laughs> yeah. it's, it's, it, look, let's not even go there. So, gentlemen, how did you like it? Other than it being spectacular, fantastic, and off the chain. The very fact that it did three nights. Night number one, they got the whole thing where Barry and, um, and um, Arrow switched bodies, and they were in different places. Was that not hot? You know, with Barry waking up in... in um, it looked kind of weird in the costume. Well, Arrow looked kind of weird in the Flash costume. I think otherwise. that was the whole intention, that he just looks totally out of place. He looked terrible. They didn't redesign the outfit. But Barry all. looked very good in the Arrow outfit. Mm -hmm. Bite so, your frigging tongue, bro. He did. That's a hard outfit to mess up. You got the hood, the mask. As long as you can fill out the outfit, which he was able to do. And they did, of course, make an outfit for him. So yes. it wasn't hanging on him since he's smaller than, uh, than Ollie. It was fine. Now, the Flash outfit, especially with that beard. <laughs> oh. He looked, he looked like, like Rip Van Winkle or something. <laughs> but he also had the effect, like the neck guy. You know, the, 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 meme, the meme guy with the neck? Mm -hmm. It was like, sort of felt like that around the head area. And I was like, really tailor it so it looks cooler. But, but I think that was the whole point, to make him so uncomfortable, stand out so much. Mm -hmm. Well, if that was the point, they got it with him. <laughs> <laughs> didn't quite work when it was, didn't quite work with the... Uh, but Barry, Barry. But Barry, I think, kind of worked in a little bit more because I think they're saying that, you know, we one of the great aspects of this show is that they really started delving into these characters. You know, how Barry is light and how... Um, oh, Arrow's uh, dark. Arrow's dark. But yet, even Arrow had to agree at the very end of the whole series that, you know what, Barry's been dealing with a lot of heavy stuff. You know, it's just how he approaches it. The power of Arrow comes from his, you know, his cynical darkness where he can, you know, do things because he can just go down and, 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 and feel it, you know, stop these and if I gotta do this I gotta do it while Barry's like yo what is the other way to do it how can we help others yeah mm -hmm. it's time to kill him off who uh, Ollie it's time to kill it's him off it's called the arrow verse bro you next year to do kill arrow you can't kill yeah, you can't Wally arrow right, you can't do that you're out of your I was, they got me saying arrow instead of green arrow oh my gosh that you call him arrow I thought the first episode was excellent I loved it when Ollie comes and he's in the flash outfit and he's like, you have failed this city. I, f I literally fell out laughing. I was like, that was good. The whole juxtaposition or merely more the reversal of the two characters, not just in different outfits, but with uh, different modes of operation, uh, different styles, uh, different personas altogether. I thought they handled that very well in that first episode. I also thought Iris looked very pretty and I loved her outfit. Anyway, we get to the second episode. And I don't think it was as, I thought the first episode was the strongest. The second episode I thought was still strong. With Batgirl. Batwoman too. With Batwoman. But then, I mean, again, it's like they can't Wait use Batman. Wait a second. You're okay with Bieber playing Bat Batwoman? I don't care. Yeah. You okay with that? I think her, her, her it performance was a, wasn't bad at all. No, her performance is up and down because it started one way and then the voice changes a little bit. Then it changed again. And I think when it, once it got to the end, it was almost like it was like a week. It felt like it her was shot at different points. Her performance was blanc manche, as they yeah, would say. It oh was, God, uh, no, it, it was no. neither here nor at there. The end, at you. the end, after she did the fight, the fight scene was cool. And when they saw the exit, leaving her about the oh, being the, friends. The fight scene with her dropping down yeah. and her weight <laughs> destroying the, uh, the, the, the van. I was like, okay. And they're using the... the I was like, she's still alive? Shouldn't she have fallen, <laughs> gone through? I was like, you know, it's like she, she what did she come all the way down from the top? She's a cane, she's a handle type of thing. No, oh, but when they ended with Supergirl and Batwoman, though that scene I liked. Like, we know who your cousins are, basically. Yeah, that's sort well, of Well, let's, um, that's one other thing. This other bit that's been online they were talking about is the mistaking Diggle as a Green Lantern. John, right. That was petty. But, I thought that wasn't petty. I but thought that is, was good. That shows the opportunity for them. Wait, no, wait, 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 wait. No, no, John, no absolutely John, not. Isn't it, isn't that, a, as long issue? as you get a black guy and his name is John, he yeah, can be the Green Lantern. That's the thing. John uh, Stewart man. is Green Lantern. Yes. And it's okay, John movie. Diggle is John Diggle. And there's a... No, no, no. That was wait, such, no, that's a, no, that's no, a no, ground no, up no. character. And now they're like, oh, wait a second. That's right. Why don't you just say you all look alike and get it over that's with? What I, that's where I'm going what? at. No, I think he made the mistake that it was, he thought it was actually John Stewart. 
and he just no. looked like and what another black in guy. Another, no, in another, <laughs> another earth, John Diggle is John Stewart. You know what I'm trying to say? But right. What, is, just like how we have Ali, like, actually his name Barry that in was so Elseworld? Right, but, but look. Is, is that, he named? Is he named Barry? Barry, Barry the one who came if you in, want to get, his name was Barry. He called himself Barry, right? Right. He was Barry, the one who came from the other world. The first. The Look, first he didn't. Him. No, no. He didn't mistake but, him for John Stewart. He came and he said John Diggle, and he's like, but on my planet, no, he you're John. a. He said John. Right. He said John. But you are. Where's the ring? That's oh, what he said. Gosh, that's gonna be so terrible. Yeah, They're yeah. You said he didn't say Diggle. Okay, yeah. He we all. Diggle. He didn't say Diggle. He's like, oh, I'm sorry, John. You know you guys look alike. So where's the ring? <laughs> now, I, you guys have totally blown that out of proportion. I hey, that's, that's crazy. That's a little, that's no, no, that's a little borderline kind of racist. No, it's not racist. A little it's not borderline. borderline. No, no, no. I totally disagree with you guys. Like, <laughs> no. Since these crossovers, crossovers have been successful. Very successful. Yes. And they've hinted that they're going to do Crisis. I hinted they're doing no, it. No, they're <laughs> doing it. That's Crisis. They're doing Crisis on TV, not even the movie. When? Next like season or this season? Thing. This season. Next season. 2019 is when it's slated oh for. Oh, my yeah. God. Next season. Now, a hint is when she winks at you and doesn't look back. That's your hint to come over there and talk to her. This this is full-out hooker stuff right over here. 50 <laughs> bucks, baby. All right. We are a family show. Yes. So we apparently are family Cal... Show. Does not know this because I had to bleep out some of his. That's stuff That's why now. he's been um, on punishment for the last couple of weeks. Man. So we get to episode three, and again, this is nothing more than Punk and Superman. I'm like, why are you here? You served no purpose except to propose to your wife. And I don't want to hear any nonsense about well, in this universe, Supergirl is more powerful. Okay. If you're just saying that because this is some feminist screed and we got to show women being powerful and you're going to punk Superman because of it, at least be honest as to that. But there is no in-story reason for this. This follows along the same line as the comics. Superman arrives first. He gets more of the solar energy than she does. He's been adventuring longer than her, has more experience. When they first meet, she couldn't even take out one of his villains on her own. And now he's like, you know, Kara, you're just so much stronger than I am. I'm going to leave the Earth so I can go to Argo while my wife is pregnant. I'm like, wait a second. Hold on, hold on. Superman is going to leave the Earth so he can go watch his wife watch it. I'm like, I'm trying to understand, like, think, would he even freaking do this at the end of the day? The Superman I know could be on Earth with his wife, protect the Earth, and wouldn't leave it to anybody else for any damn reason because that's his charge. But no, no, we're not going to get that. And then what was worse, he had to fight the evil Superman. Superman always beats evil Superman, except in this series, he's getting smacked around. And I was thinking, look, okay, fine. We know he can't beat Supergirl because, again, Supergirl brings nothing to the table in her show except beating Superman because they have not decided to invest in her as a character. You didn't read Jamal Igel and Sterling Gates run on Supergirl, so you don't know what to do with her except to keep doing these ham-fisted, pandering motions that are supposedly feminism at the end of the day. I repeat what I said earlier, but I won't say it because Pete will have to, uh, have to bleep it out again. But that being said, you're not invested in the character. The character, just to you, is power in the skirt. You don't care about it. But you brought Superman into it, and that's where I draw the freaking line. He can't even beat the evil Superman. What the hell is he there for? Okay, okay. I'm going to say this because I know big business just wanted him to have this reaction. and Because it's the only way, reason why he wouldn't stop it. He wanted him to be upset. And I ate it up. This. I'm sorry. And he did that. Like this is Couldn't like, resist. This has never happened before. He's enjoying him being in a bad spot with Superman. So Yeah, you should see what's going on <laughs> underneath the table. <laughs> <laughs> so I think that's what, what? we're gonna bring those. So we're gonna say that we you you guys enjoyed it, right? Yeah, yeah. we enjoyed it. Okay. Yeah.